welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be seeing how many books i can read throughout this three-day weekend i feel like this was the perfect video for me to do this weekend because i don't have to work on monday it is labor day weekend and i've been looking forward to this three-day weekend all month long okay all month long so i decided that i'm gonna see how many books i can get done on this weekend because i'm so behind on my tbr i'm so behind i haven't even posted on here in like a month i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i haven't posted on here i haven't got as much reading done as i would like to it is so hard making sure that like you're going to the gym you're prioritizing your health you're prioritizing god something is bound to fall near the wayside and for me reading has fell to the wayside i haven't been able to read as much as i would want to so i decided that this weekend we're gonna get some reading done so yeah that's what we're gonna do but before we do that i'm gonna go out to either target i'll probably go in pop shelf and either tj maxx or ross i'm gonna go in there to see if i can find like some cute little decor pieces i really want to find a chair because i'm trying to do like a reading corner in my room and right now i moved my bookshelf and my bookshelf is right here you can't see it because i have you sitting on top of it <clears throat> i don't know what's going on with my voice right now um but i want to do like a little cute reading corner <sighs> all right y'all so i am home and it's a couple hours later it is 2 57 it's almost three o'clock <sighs> and i'm back home i was already home but then i had to go back out um so change some plans we're still gonna see how much we can read in this video but y'all know how I said I wanted to get some stuff to make like a little reading nook. <sighs> yeah, well, um, now that has resulted in me deciding to rearrange my room. Don't mind my closet back there. I meant to close the door. <laughs> now we're going to rearrange my room because I feel like with the way my room is set up right now, it would just make sense for me to move my bed around so that I can have a little bit of a bigger area for my reading nook. So that's what we're going to do. show y'all what i got really quickly and then i'm gonna go take a shower do my skincare and then we're gonna get into reading because that's literally what this vlog was supposed to be about so first up was tj maxx fall is around the corner and i had to get these look at how cute these are so cute and it's just a black pair i love these super cute pack of two and they were only 9.99 so yep that was cute that was the only thing i got from tj maxx and then in target i got this cute um light pink throw blanket and i'm gonna put this on the chair just like a few random items i got fruit snacks because we're gonna need a little snack while we're reading m &Ms and baby lotion random i know but baby lotion is my go-to lotion especially during the summer it's too hot outside to be wearing like something too too thick so baby lotion now i'm gonna show y'all the chair so actually i got the chair from walmart so let me show you the chair really quickly it is so cute so this is the chair it's from Walmart, literally $30. I just wanted something cute. 
nothing too crazy i feel like this is gonna do the job until like i upgrade to something bigger but yeah literally so cute i'm gonna put the throw blanket over it okay y'all so i'm showered i did my skincare and now we're finally gonna get into some reading this vlog has really been everything but me reading crazy right but yeah we're still gonna see how much i can read the goal tonight is to definitely finish this book and then go on to my next read which i haven't decided which book that's gonna be yet but we're definitely gonna finish this one tonight Um, I finished reading Things You Never Got Over by Lucy Score and I love the way it ended. I love the way it ended. I need to take my bookmark out. I finished it on my phone. Um but I love the way it ended. I got to read the bonus scene and it just like made my heart just flutter oh my gosh i feel like this book has some really good lessons to it let me move the camera a bit i absolutely adored this book and it kind of like hit like a soft spot because naomi is basically taking in her niece that she didn't even know that she had um and seeing how her niece's life just transformed and how this 11 year old girl went from basically fitting for herself and basically having to like grow up so fast she finally like slowed down and you know she could be a kid you know she was able to be a kid and she started to love the people around her she was starting to trust the people around her and her aunt just truly turn that little girl's life around and that is just so so sweet to me just to see the character development of her niece as i can't i just i love that aspect of it um and then seeing Knox as well change this little girl's life was beautiful so yeah i'm finished with this book i'm gonna rate it i'm gonna say 4.5 out of five stars so Two of the books that I was thinking of were, let me see, I was thinking of Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez, but I have The Housemaid's Secret by Frida McFadden. So I don't know, after reading that with the romance so heavy, I don't know. I know I said I wanted to stick to the summer reads. But I'm really feeling a thriller right now and I'm a little bit of a mood reader so I think I may be going with The Housemaid's Secret. On to the second book. finished the housemaid secret y'all this book was so good i thoroughly enjoyed it honestly five stars five stars for me i really enjoyed this book so much yeah if you really want a good read something that you could just honestly read in one day frida mcfadden I've only ever read two books by her, Robert the Housemaid and then this one. And I've always heard people say like her books are always very easy to read and you can honestly sit and read them in one day and I'm a testament to that. You can very much sit and read her book her books and get through it in one day. So yeah. I'm super excited that I finished this. It's late though, it's midnight, it is twelve twenty seven. I am sleepy, my head hurts, I've had a headache all day 
so yeah i'm ready to lay down and go to sleep uh i don't think i'm gonna start anything else tonight but definitely in the morning i'll start a new one and i think we're gonna start with yours truly i think that's definitely what i'm gonna read next but yeah five stars from me <laughs> already and i'm only on chapter six i want to get the audiobook to this so i'm definitely going to do that but i am thoroughly enjoying this book okay if you haven't read it yet please go read it this book is based on brianna and jacob and i remember brianna from the first book part of your world i'm already familiar with her character but we were introduced to jacob and i'm in shock to say the least imagine you are with someone for two and a half years and then you guys break up and then three months later that person goes off and dates your brother mm -hmm. your brother so yeah i'm gonna continue reading today it has been so lovely having this long weekend where i can just get some reading done so yeah i'm glad that i'm glad I, i'm glad that i did this so yeah i'm gonna keep reading and then i'll update y'all later <laughs> 